There is no magic bullet to pricing. I wish there were. I'm certain that over the years we've left money on the table with our clients, so I'm not sure exactly how to do this, but I'll share with you the methodology that we have used. One of the first steps is for you to really sincerely think through what is your annual income goal. And don't sell yourself short. Think of what is that income goal, what do you want to hit? Take that number and divide it by 1400. I use 1400 because that has over the years proven to be about the amount of time spent on actual consulting engagements. The rest is admin time or marketing time or business development time. But that 70% of time, 1400 hours, tends to be what it is. So take your income goal and divide it by 1400. That will give you an hourly rate. As you begin to build your proposal, there's a couple of things that you need to think about. The hours that you're spending on a project, are you able to handle two or three clients' work at one time in a given day? If so, you can bill hourly for that client. If you're on site for a full day, that is an entire day dedicated to that project. Another rule of thumb that I have is this. If you're out of town and you're, while you're only with that client for a half a day, it takes a full day out of your inventory. So we tend to charge for that full day even if we're only on the client site working on their project for half a day because we've lost that completely out of our inventory. Finally, think through the support that you're going to be using. Are you using an outside administrative support? Do you have another consultant who's in on this? You have to have their time factored into the proposal as well. Once you have all of that figured out, now you can start to build the proposal based upon that implementation schedule and the time that you have available.